I was in uh, Pakistan actually when Danny got uh, uh, kidnapped, and then uh, when he was murdered, I was um, in New Jersey. I was working for the Star Ledger um, of Newark, New Jersey. Um, so as a journalist, it had a huge impact on me, particularly because I'd been there. Uh, just recently, um, I had reported in Afghanistan and in Pakistan, and um, um, you know, it was just uh, horrifying and and, and deeply uh, disturbing. I think it um, just touched something inside all of us because um, th that had never happened before, that you were targeted solely on the basis of the fact that you were a journalist uh, and a premeditated, pre sorry, a premeditated uh, kidnapping and murder uh, of an innocent person just because they were uh, doing their job. Um, you know, I think after um, Danny's murder, just the level of danger uh, for journalists entered a whole nother um, uh, level, you know. No, I didn't reconsider. Um, I mean, it didn't make me reconsider. I still knew that, you know, the stories had to be told. And I think when you're a war correspondent, there's some uh, level of danger and risk that comes um, naturally with the job. Uh, but the unique thing after Danny's uh, arrest and also after um, in Iraq was that you were also actively a target, you know, yourself, which wasn't really the case in previous wars. Um, but I do think that the journal took security uh, much more seriously, and they were very, extremely mindful and, you know, very uh, cautious because uh, of what had happened. So.